Hey guys, welcome to Technability, your source for no-nonsense tech. So what we got here is iOS 8.1, and this would be beta 1. I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys here. iOS 8.1, beta 1. Now this is a Verizon 6 Plus running on um, T-Mobile. I'm using it for T-Mobile. You can see you get LTE here with the T-Mobile model. So 8.1 was just released, the beta for developers. Uh, if you guys want UDID registration, just let me know, and I'll probably hook you up. I mean, it's not an issue, because uh, I have a lot of devices that I can add to my registration. Now, first thing first, again, this is the iPhone 6 Plus, and you guys are watching Technability, your source for no-nonsense tech. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, you can see I got a Space Gray 6 Plus. I had the gold one, and I had the screen popping out. I went ahead and actually traded someone for this uh, 64 gigabyte by space gray. I prefer the space gray over the gold, but that's just my uh, personal taste. It may not be yours, so whatever suits you best. So going through uh, 8.1 here, we're going to just simply go through some of the features and what's been improved. Now in terms of speed, uh, it's definitely been improved. The Touch ID sensor has been improved ever so slightly. Again, when I say speed, I mean just overall um, panning through screens, transition effects. Everything's ever so slightly faster. And usually the 0.1 uh, updates are a little bit faster. I mean, 7 to 7.1 was a dramatic difference in my opinion, and you can watch my video, iOS 7.1 is blazing fast, and you can see that for yourself. Uh, 8.1 is no exception. You can see in terms of speed, everything opens immediately, everything closes immediately. Um, really, there's absolutely no, um, there's no lag. You know, it's immediate to my touch, and of course, if I want to multitask, I can just double tap. You can see you get your contacts up above. That's an iOS 8 feature, so not necessarily 8.1. And I can just rotate back around here. Go into the notification center. You can see the notifications. Again, nothing changed on this end. You swipe them away. You can reply to texts. Uh, very simple. Uh, you, obviously, your Google Hangouts here as well. Your Today tab, if you click on Edit, you can see a multitude of widgets that you can add into the notification center. Control center still not, uh, you still can't customize the control center. Uh, but hopefully, they'll be adding that addition sooner than later. I don't know. Uh, it's, I, you know, I wouldn't say, don't hold your breath, basically. but. At the same time, you never know, Apple is opening up their system. And one of the ways they've done that is they've added uh, sharing options here, third-party sharing options. So you can actually click more and uh, share uh, specific apps through the actual gallery by adding third-party apps. They didn't have this before, so this is an iOS 8 feature. Not 8.1 per se, but 8. Um, in terms of the camera, again, it's just slightly improved in terms of shutter speed. Uh, not that it was slow before. The camera quality on this device is absolutely phenomenal, no doubt about that. You can see slow-mo. Um, and basically, it's an incremental update. I mean, it's just the same as 7 to 7.1. Actually, you know what? This is uh, maybe less in terms of the features they've added. So if I was to type in iOS 8.1 features, you can see how fast the web browser is. Typing super fast. Again, you can download the swipe keyboard. OK, so you can see here if I go to uh, iPhone hacks, Tells you basically the keyboard's been improved, so you enable disable dictation and keyboard settings. That's cool. Um, you can see recently added rename back to camera roll and photos. All right, so the camera roll, um, tweet bot, some tweet bot additions, hidden settings for Apple Pay. Okay, so Apple Pay's been improved. You got light, larger icons in the notification center widget view, so you can see that here, the notification center widget view. So again, minor little things, nothing too uh, dramatically different. Uh, and, and you know that's just very indicative of how Apple is. They don't they don't ship out dramatic updates even with the point ones. Everything is incremental, but for the most part, it's definitely improved in terms of speed, fluidity, overall. Um, you know, I think at least in my opinion, overall. Um, functionality and stability. I thought, you know, iOS 8 was a little bit buggy on this device, um, so it feels a little bit better. Uh, it just feels a little bit smoother, more fluid, um, which iOS has always felt fluid and smooth, but this is, again, the point one update. They add to that fluidity speed. Of course, you could see you could rotate all around if you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. So, minor additions, minor changes. Um, which is cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, 8.1. I think it's a needed up, upgrade in terms of just getting a little bit more stability. And of course, with beta 2, beta 3, beta 4, beta 5, and gold master, they're going to improve on other areas as well. So we're going to go ahead and report on that as soon as the update's released. Again, if you want UDID registration, just go ahead and send me a message. I'll go ahead and hook you guys up. Uh, this is iOS 8.1 on iPhone 6 Plus. 
You guys are watching Technability, your source for no-nonsense tech. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff. All right, thank you guys for watching Technability. I am Berge. Have a good one.